In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn how to model this part using this method where we'll learn how to use the circular pattern to repeat this uh, profile. We'll also learn contour selection, which is quite useful, meaning that you could do an extrude using a specific contour. So you could extrude first this one and then this profile. With any further ado, let's get started. File new, part, we'll stay in inches, top plane, sketch on it, and let's start with a circle. You could just go here. And we're going to need three circles, so I'll draw. They will all be concentric, sharing the same center. But the last one will just be a guide, a center line. So we can select the last one and enable for construction. Let's uh, dimension it, smart dimension. The first one will have a diameter of 50. Second one, 60. And the last one, 75. Then we'll use a circle here, so another circle. And we'll make sure that it lands exactly at the quadrant here. This one will be a diameter of 10 line tool L and we could pick here and be tangent but you could just click once and you see it's already tangent so if you touch again it let you start from wherever you want so we could just click like this right click deselect and now we only have a coincidence so we can move it so it's no more tangent it's on the line but it's just moving if you want a tangency, you can shift click and do tangency. Uh, I want to mirror this one on the other side, center line. Mirror, under sketch, mirror entities. So I can mirror this one and use this for the center line, the symmetry line. So now it's very nice because we have a mirror relation. So if I move this, the other one move. This doesn't have to be straight, so we could also give it an angle. So if I delete the horizontal, we could easily give him an angle like this. Here we want a tangent arc, tangent, here to there. And you see it has the two tangency. Uh, I think it should be a little bit further, so we could should be able to move this one. Voila. Not too much. Something like this. And usually I would trim this, but here I want to be to able to extrude this and this. So what I can do now, middle click to orbit, I can go under Feature, Extrude, and here I can say Selected Contour, and I can just pick the one I want. So I'll pick this one, but on both sides, mid-plane. So maybe 10. And the reason I'm doing this is that I'll be able to uh, re-extrude uh, this one. So I select the sketch, extrude, and this time you can pick this one. So the result is the same, they'll merge, but uh, you could just repeat the one you want, you need. So mid-plane and the same 10 inch. So this is the selected contour uh, uh, function. Here we want to do a, a cutout. So first I'll do a fillet here. So fillet, a 3D fillet with feature. Make sure you're on the regular one. And I think I was using 8 inch. Say OK. And now we want to do a cutout here. So we'll use the top plane. Control 8. We'll draw a center line. It doesn't have to start here, but it doesn't matter. You could just make it run the whole way. And then we'll do a line. Pretty wide. Something like this. And this, we're going to use it to cut out. So I want to symmetry this on the other side. Mirror, symmetry is this. And the mirror about will be this one. Then we can connect. So line L, voila. So as you can tell, it's touching a little bit. So you could just move that line a bit more. Voila. So we're in the center because we did it on the top plane. Extrude cut, mid plane. You want to cut a little bit, it should be maybe six. 
And now to run this, uh, we could make this wider actually. So we could go back here and uh, extrude cut, control eight. And we could drag this one more inside. To run this with the fillet, there's a new function called uh, full run fillet. If you select um, one side, then the other side, and then the inside, it will run it. And you could do this twice. So one side, the other side, and the end. Here we could just run a chamfer. Select the hole, yeah. And while we are here, we could even do this. The inside. This will bounce the light better if you do a, voila. And now to repeat this, we can use circular pattern. The direction it's around this. So this one or this one. Three is what we want. We want three copy total. And what you want to uh, copy, there's quite a few things. You want to copy the second extrude, the fillet, the cut, three fillet, and the chamfer. Then finally on the top, we could use a tiny fillet or chamfer. So chamfer. If you wanted to uh, update anything, it's uh, very simple. You could uh, change anything like the cut. Uh, make it a little bit wider even. It said cannot drag. It's because it's at the center. So we have to delete this and those one. Voilà. And now it will rebuild. You see the opening now is uh, wider. You could also do a section view here. It can be very nice if you click here and you could just uh, rotate through it. Uh, you could change which, uh, which way it's cutting and you can say OK. If you want to keep it. If not, you click here. For the rendering, I'll go quick because I have explained it in many other videos, but scene, basic scene, double click here to bring the environment. Here we'll go metal, aluminium, brushed, give it to the entire body or part. Then perspective, find the angle you like, render tools. So this is photo view 360 option. Here I want contour to get the black ink and edit scene. And here we can say this is not touching the floor. So we can say offset to geometry. And finally, final render. So one to one is this. And you could play with the bloom too. If you want it to glow a little bit, you will have to go lower. You see here it's uh, glowing a little bit. And save it and go to Photoshop.